This is one of those moments where I don't know where this t-shirt came from. I think, I think it's Brick Builders Club. I actually have to go back and watch my own videos to figure that out. I think this is the, a Lego dinosaur. It's Dino Gems, Dinosaur Gem. <laughs> uh, and this video is not going to be about dinosaurs, so sorry about that. It's going to be about tipper trucks, because I got packages in the mail <laughs> from Bricklink. All three of these are Bricklink orders. One from Germany. This one's from Germany. These are from the United States. And I like Jack Dufresne's idea of a tipper truck battle pack in 2022. Can we get that going? Lego, can you make a tipper truck battle pack? No, you won't. You don't need to. It's unnecessary. We don't need it. But I would like it. And I want you to tell me in the comments below. I don't ask a lot. <laughs> but ha ha have you bought a tipper truck or a tipper because of these silly videos that I'm making when otherwise you probably wouldn't have wanted, wanted one. I know of, of some that have, so let me know if you have. And remember, I don't want all of the tippers in the world. I just want yours, okay? So, um, yeah, don't worry about me getting all of them in the world. I'm just going to get the one you have. All right, so this is from... Bricks in the hood. Bricks in the hood. Bricks in the hood. Oh, what do we got? We got 9-volt train track. So, uh, Sean O'Neill left a comment on the 720 train video that I did, which, you know, I've done a lot of train videos on this channel, most of them back in the day. I'm really thinking about reliving a lot of the, the reviews because I was watching some of them today, and they're pretty bad, my early <laughs> videos. Uh, but this is from the 9-volt track era. And it's dark gray. And so they kind of went with light gray and dark gray. It started in the 80s. And then they started going for the dark gray ballast. At that time, and the, the rails were light gray. And now they're these were dark gray with metal rails. But the blue was like, really? Blue? <laughs> why did they go with blue? And that's what Sean O'Neill asked. Like, why didn't they just go ahead and go with gray? I don't know what the reason is. Because there's nowhere in the world do railroad tracks look blue. But they only had so many colors, and I know that they didn't make a lot with the light gray color. It was mostly either plates or the base plate brick things. <laughs> They're, you know, the, the 10 by 20 bricks that were base plates back then. So I don't know if it was just the limited use of light gray back then. So uh, it, it's blue just made no sense. And yet, they had plenty of opportunity to change that. They went from 1966 to 1979. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they made any new sets in 79. So it's really from 1976 to 78. <laughs> Alright, oh, we got more stuff in here, by the way. We got, I think this is the manager for the German soccer team. Oh, there's no soccer ball. Oh, my, my, oh, he could, he's got the clipboard. That's what it is. I thought he got the soccer ball. He's got the clipboard or the tablet with the uh, soccer field. So this is one of the ones I was missing. I don't know why I'm collecting the German football team because I don't watch soccer. <laughs> All right, here's the main thing we went to to get. Oh, look, a yellow tipper. We got a couple of... These are the aviator hats from the... Um, Maxi figure line from the 70s. So yellow tipper. And then the main thing I went to the store for were these six blue tippers. So that's six more that are not available for somebody to buy. Yes, you cannot buy those from them anymore because I already bought them. So let's go, go to this next one. Now this is from N2 Bricks. That's I-N, the number two, Bricks. Oh, haha. -ha. All right, so... He only had two tippers. So that's what I started. I started in his store with the two tippers. I added um, four of the windshields. I got three of the old school plain minifigure heads. So four windshields. I need to start looking for the windshields. I'm getting ahead on other parts. And then I needed, the. Uh, I was having a hard time digging through my collection for the one by four red bricks. So I, he had good price on his. I don't care if they're vintage or new. So 
I went ahead and got that. So again, I, I went to the store just for the two bricks or two uh, tippers. So that's eight tippers added. We got another one. This is from a Rainy Day Services. I think it's Rainy Day Toys on Bricklink. All these again, new cutters. So far, I haven't cut anything. No bleeding yet. Uh, so this one also started with tippers, I do believe, and I added some other things. So I'll show you what we added. Oh, look at this. So this is city center. So this oh, this has got to be late nineties, early two thousand. Ninety nine. Yeah, so we got the city center set six four six eight. Uh, it's used, it's not sealed, but um, he's got it in this bag to protect the box. That was nice of him. So, yeah, it's a. I'm just as I work on collecting random sets, I, I do like to get the cheap small sets sometimes. <laughs> so I got this with the Cine Wrecker and sports car. I guess I don't know what that is. And of course, I went to his store for the tippers that he had. And there's nobody in the U.S. other than the people that are asking way too much have more than three or two tippers. This guy had three. But, oops, I got three tippers from him, three blue tippers. So that gives us 11 in this haul. Also got some one by four bricks from him and the headlight bricks. So, see that was three, 11. So I can build 11 more tippers. So why don't I do that now off camera? Oh, need some of these. So it's hard to keep up with uh, the right quantities of each of the different parts. So I ran out of the windshield. So I only had six windshields. So I was only able to build six new additions to my tipper truck army, which this is about where I started. When I started this thing, I had about six, I think. The display case had five plus a sealed one. So uh, there might have been one or two laying around somewhere else in the basement. So I might have had about eight. But anyway, this is about where we were <laughs> when we started. And I just assembled these from the tippers that we got in the hall, plus the four windshields and the headlight bricks. I'm going to, I'm, so I'm completely out of windshields. I'm getting low on the 4x10s, which are hard. Uh, the main thing I want to get is the quantity of the blue tippers I need. Once I get those, I'll start triaging down to the windshields and the um, 4x10s. I got enough 4x10s to build a few more, so I probably, actually, probably will go see if there's anybody that has a decent quantity of the windshields. I don't think there are people that had as many. <laughs> as when I first started this journey of uh, the Tipper Truck Army. So six more added to the 224 we had at the beginning of this video. That gives us 230. So again, there's 36 in each of these boxes. So that's 6 times 36, 216, plus 7 is 223. 224. And two. Wait a minute. Did I count wrong the last video? Or did I lose one? That's five. So that's 229 plus the three that are sealed. Hmm. That's 232 total. I thought I had another built. I actually stole some tippers off of these. There's the 18 one. I think I lost one. Thanks for coming along on my tipper truck army need to figure out some way of numbering these. Wouldn't that be neat if I was able to have them numbered 1 to 365? Um, but So 229 built. I think there's one missing around here. There's three in the box, 232. Plus uh, I need to get some more windshields. Could steal them from these over here, but that's only like four windshields right there. So yeah, so Please don't be offended uh, that I'm buying all these things up. Remember, nobody wanted them for 45 years. So, <laughs> the, any hype or demand is all because of this unnecessary journey that I'm on of collecting a tipper truck for every day of 2021. So, will we reach the goal? We shall see. I'm going to go to Bricklink now and look for some windshields. And thanks for watching.
thanks for uh, another t-shirt so you don't have to see me topless I th oh I did count the t-shirts I got enough for over half of the year I think I got a minimum of 200 t-shirts and shirts so I, mean, I, I will wear, wear shirts jackets hoodies maybe even dress shirts <laughs> dad shirts tank tops so we're not going to limit it to just tees because uh, I've already actually worn some other things that weren't tee. We got jerseys, uh, tank tops, jackets, fleeces, things like that. So I'm going to wear, wear sweatshirts <laughs> just so we don't go topless. Uh, that, that should get us to where we need less than 100. So, <laughs> oh, uh, I, I hope I don't have to go to Goodwill. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be wearing different clothing that's not smelly. I do need to go get me a different shirt, though. 